This is designed to be a helpful video for those of you experiencing hypersomnia symptoms or otherwise feeling exhausted or sleeping a lot. Hypersomnia meaning, um, generally meaning an excessive sleepiness, but also sometimes an excessive need for sleep. I'm going to start with the non-sleep disorder possibilities and go through the various steps if you do in the end have um, a hypersomnia condition. Um, so before you get anything tested, the first thing to consider, and this will sound obvious, is that you might be sleep deprived. Um, most people probably are sleep deprived. If you're setting an alarm every day, you're probably sleep deprived. Um, and if you are seriously sleep deprived, it can take months to catch up on sleep, during which time you will be sleeping a lot and tired. If that's not applicable, one another possibility is that you've been through something very difficult emotionally or mentally recently. Either you're, you've just been overworking yourself and it's just burnout, or maybe you lost a family member in the last six months. Something like that can also cause um, you to sleep a lot. So the first thing you should do, if those don't apply, is to get a blood test. Um, there are a number of nutrient deficiencies and a few of the reasons that you can detect in your blood for why you might be tired. There are five things I would recommend that you get tested for and to ask your doctor if they have any other suggestions. Um, you can do these all at once in one blood test. The, and this is roughly in order of likelihood of being the cause. Uh, first is iron. Iron, can, if you are low in iron, you'll be very sleepy. Um, and that's if you're male or female. Um, underactive thyroid hormone is another common cause. Um, low B12 levels, if you are have been vegan or vegetarian for a long time, this might be applicable to you. Um, if there's a chance you have diabetes, having problems with blood sugar can cause you to be sleepy. And then there are also a number of viruses or illnesses that can cause you to be sleepy, um, a well-known one being mono. If your blood work comes back normal, the second thing you should do is get a referral from a doctor for a sleep study. This is also called a polysomnographic study. It's the sleep study that most people think of when they think of sleep studies. You stay overnight at the clinic, they hook you up to a bunch of things. And one of the most common causes of hypersomnia that they find in sleep studies is that you have sleep apnea. They should also be able to detect if you have narcolepsy or um, any of these other primary hypersomnia disorders. A primary hypersomnia disorder um, means that the reason for your hypersomnia is because you have a, a disorder rather than because it's a symptom of something else like one of these things I mentioned like an iron deficiency. That's secondary hypersomnia. It's just a symptom of something else. Um, narcolepsy is the most common form of primary hypersomnia. If uh, a common symptoms of narcolepsy are that you're, you're sleeping a regular amount, you might be sleeping seven hours, but you feel exhausted when you wake up, you're exhausted during the day. Cataplexy is the name for when you, um, you may have heard of when you have narcolepsy and you might collapse suddenly when you're laughing or something like that. You don't necessarily have that if you have narcolepsy. If you do have that, you do have narcolepsy, but if you don't, you, many people have narcolepsy without cataplexy. Um, a second kind is Klein-Levin syndrome, which is basically a periodic sort of um, hypersomnia where you only have it for a few weeks or months at a time, then it goes away and then it comes back again. Um, and then there's idiopathic hypersomnia, which depending on who you talk to, depending on what sleep specialist you talk to, can mean one of two things. One is it's either very similar to narcolepsy without cataplexy, they fall asleep fairly quickly, um, you have a lot of daytime sleepiness. You may or may not have a, a sleep more at night. Um, the second definition is that technically idiopathic means unknown cause. And some people use that literally to mean an unknown cause. I don't know what you have, therefore you have idiopathic hypersomnia and they just, it's just the remainder category. Idiopathic hypersomnia is not one thing. You can, there are many different um, people with many different conditions who have idiopathic hypersomnia because it is, I don't know what you have, therefore I'm gonna say you have idiopathic hypersomnia. If you do have narcolepsy or something related or they just don't know, um, the sleep specialist will uh, sign you up for a follow-up study, which is called an MSLT, a multiple sleep latency test. So an MSLT, it's where they'll determine which or if any of these is applicable to you. Um, and it's basically a nap study. You go there all day, you have to try and nap um, four times maybe, and they'll measure how long it takes you to fall asleep. 
an arithmetic, again, will fall asleep very quickly. Um, and what stage of sleep you go into. The reason that narcoleptics feel exhausted when they wake up is because they go into REM sleep very early in their sleep. And most people will go into their deepest sleep of the night shortly after they fall asleep, and then an hour and a half in, they will have their first REM sleep. But an narcoleptic, the REM sleep will be much earlier, and it will conflict with that deep sleep that they also need to feel um, rested. REM sleep is technically a very light form of sleep, though you also need it to feel rested to have that emotional and mental recovery. It's also possible, if, if you don't have any of these things, that you are either um, a long sleeper or you just have different a different um, ideal sleep schedule. So some people, uh, you know, most people sleep from, I don't know, 11 to 8 or something or whatever. They sleep at night. Some people find that they can't fall asleep until like 5 a.m. and that might actually be their natural rhythm rather than a result of whatever their lifestyle has been. Um, so sometimes fighting that can, can cause problems with your sleep. Um, but you might actually technically be healthy. Um, being a long sleeper also um, is probably, you probably, if you're a long sleeper you shouldn't have daytime sleep news. You should just be sleeping a lot at night. You might sleep 10 hours a night or 12 hours a night. Um, but there is, there is just a range of how much sleep people need. Some people need as little as four hours, these short sleepers, and some people need as many as 13. If you're sleeping more than that, you probably have idiopathic hypersomnia or some other disorder. Um, and that, again, you might just be perfectly healthy. There might not be any abnormalities with your sleep, with your REM sleep, it might be perfectly fine. And if you do get diagnosed with narcolepsy in particular, um, but also any of these related ones, you can use the medication designed for narcolepsy. Generally, you can get a, um, the sleep specialist should give you a prescription for uh, modafinil or, or one of these other drugs that are designed for narcoleptics and for dealing with that um, daytime sleepiness. So hopefully this was helpful uh, for those of you experiencing exhaustion, not knowing why. Again, it's based on my experience being diagnosed with idiopathic hypersomnia. If um, you have something that I didn't mention here, another cause for sleepiness, feel free to comment below. And thanks for watching.